Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This episode is powered by Fly Fair Nation and recorded at the Fan Production House. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was your weekend? Um, wow. It was just plastic a while? Yes. Um, you know, it was a good weekend. Well, some changes and things, but, you know, it's a good weekend. Can't really complain. Yours? It was good. You know, there was the whole Dutch Olympics. Well, actually, no, not really, but yeah, buddy, uh, backyard fish fry wow. sitting. That was fun. People was came fun. out, let me make drinks them was, drinks. Drinks was lit. Tisha, got <laughs> me some good homes that night. Well, you are welcome. And into the into the mom. Must be nice. If you did that. I owe well, you. you know. I owe you. I might have to come back for some and you know, some of that potion. And I any way that I can help. We should I sell them in bottles. One day, Pouches. possibly. Pouches. Something so. So I've been hearing. Shot. I don't know. Sample cups? Probably a sample you. cup. Probably you, a sample However you want to get it out there. <laughs> Probably a sample cup. Um, did you try the um, Patron mix-up? The coffee flavor? No, I don't like okay. coffee, so there goes that. Oh, okay. Well, we accidentally bought Coffee Patron, and I found a way to make it delicious for parties involved. Drank yeah, probably but those about... who drank it said it was, um, it was lit. Yes, um, and came back for it. more. Yeah. So... Go me on that one. Um, there's another one coming up on 420. I'm bartending again, so we'll see what concoctions I come up with then. Um, it was a good look, though. You know, some decent turnout. The food was delicious. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was. Next one, 420. Show up if you're in the area. Yo, 421 links, y'all. Links, 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 links. Yeah, so, you know. Y'all gave up something for Lent. We might run. Pass that. Get a pass me a flyer for that drink so I can like throw that up. I got you. No, because you. you know too many niggers. Yes, I said it. Too many niggers. People and, you don't um, want to see. I can't when there's too many niggers around. You know, I get a little nervous with too many niggers in one place. Completely understand that. I completely understand that. Um, well. Glad you had a good weekend and all the fun things. I'm actually off 420 weekend. Yo, the facts, I'm off as well. Um, There's this I don't joke. know why I'm saying I'm off as well. Like, you don't even partake in the yeah. festivities, y'all. I know. Y'all know that? They know that about you, right? I believe so. I think I've said on here that I don't smoke, indulge in the marijuanas. So, yeah. I, I, need, I need all that. Give me all that. You have fun. I'm a professional passer. You know, so, you pass it to me. So that means, passer. okay, so it's bring your own, bring your own shit. Smoke yeah. out. Smoke out. Yeah. Woo! I mean, the first one we put on there that smokers are welcome, but this is the 420 edition. This is the 420 so. one. This is smoke out. Well, I mean, yeah. y'all come with the strings and let's get it. If y'all with it, y'all with it. So there's that. I'm just be in a corner mixing drinks for those who might want a little extra something or just don't partake. I'll be there doing my liquor thing. I'm a bobber. Um, on that note, since you smoke and drink, do you mm. think there's a difference? Like I'm going way into sex now. Um, like you've had sex while high and while oh wow, drunk, of right? course, of course. Which one do you think is like a better? <laughs> experience um, well i can say this the way it affects me mm-hmm. um when i have liquor me up more aggressive you know mm-hmm. what i'm saying so i think that happens for a lot of people hold on does the type of liquor make a difference for you yes okay um rum affects me different from how vodka uh-huh. so rum puts me like <laughs> like knock your back out right okay and like you know, vodka too. It depends. It mm-hmm. depends on what it is. But like, I don't drink much of anything but rum. So, whatever. High, mm, high sex, and especially if y'all both are high, and like, I'm like high, and y'all just like, oh, like it just ooh, sensual. Yeah, it's sensual. So it feel different. Like, it's just nice. It's smooth. And sometimes it's slow. It feels slow, and it's just the way y'all touching each other. Like. 
y'all both sensitive in that moment. So, and, oof. so hey, high sex is like, like making a love. Like a trip. Is this nigga just say trib? Yes, I say Like, if you're tripping, y'all know what tripping mm. is. Come on. Now. I hope y'all do. If you're tripping and you hot. <laughs> <laughs> All of that. But, um, are you asking which one I prefer? Well, no. I was going to say, so, say, like, I, I need sensual. Both, both, um, well, yeah. I can see that. But I'm saying, like. Very sensual. High like, sex is, like, making love. And it's, quote like, euphoric-ish. Quote. Like, it's, like. It's oh all the reasons they told me not to do drugs. And it's kind of <laughs> like that. Like it really is like that. Like it's wavy. You know what I'm saying? It's very wavy. It's like what you wake up next morning. Like, what happened? Hmm. What we that we did that? Like what? Ha- Ooh, a vibe. I need. Ooh, <laughs> I need parts of that. That that sound good to me. For twenty we get next week. I need that. Oh. What about drunk and high sex? Like, if you're drunk and high. Okay, so that there is a different beast because <laughs> <laughs> it do still feel good as hell, but you still like you, mm-hmm. you ready? Like, it depends on what you drink or whatever. Like, so if I'm drinking rum and I'm smoking, like, I'm like ready, ready, like, well, stroke you to death. Yeah, kind of, kind of vibe. Okay, but kids. Mixing them together is, is highly recommended. Still. I mean, anyway, I mean, it, it depends on how the liquor affect you, though, because some people can. Yes. And don't drink too much. See, people drink. A lot of people do drink to like be able to like perform and stuff like that. Don't drink too much because they be sloppy and stuff. And yeah. Not, like, and then it just is not it. It don't work out properly. It just ruins the whole mood. So yeah, don't drink responsibly, people. If you're partaking in any recreational drugs, mm-hmm. do it responsibly because right. men are able. I'm not gonna sit here and say I ain't never like partaking a little extra stuff. Hold on, don't get crazy. Yeah. Let me just back in the day. I don't do no white, no white nothing. No. Never have, probably never ever will because I'm shook. Um, no needle, nothing like that. Um, I've done like you know the little stuff, like the whole little Molly thing. <laughs> yeah. Little stuff. Little stuff. My, I mean, whatever. I'm a square. I did shrooms in high school. That yeah, was, told that was next that. level. Um, that's but nothing crazy. No LSD. No acid. Acid. I have not done acid. You know, I saw that on Twitter today, and I did get curious. I was like, acid. What's that? What do I do? What do you gotta do? That you gotta drop something on something or something like that? Mm-hmm. Oh no. I mean, no, 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 something and that. I've done. And I've done. Um, what you call it? Ecstasy. Yeah, but that oh. ecstasy's nice. Ecstasy's like. Oh. It feels, it feels like no, ecstasy. It, it does. Listen, and I swear I was out. Let me tell you, give me my whole story and shit. I went to Burke House. Okay. And I had <laughs> this happened here. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh huh. Anyway, so I went to Burke House, whatever. Took the pill, took the pill, whatever in the car, whatever. Went smoking, whatever, whatever. Get to Burke House. Pill kick in. I'm like, oh shit. Started getting hot. Took off my jacket. Jesus. Didn't move in, whatever, whatever. Not really playing. You know how Brick House play music, so mm-hmm. it was not really my kind of. Yeah. So I'm there, you know, bouncing, whatever. So, woo, smoke, smoke, whatever. Going, smoking, this shit kicking in. I start to feel amazing, my nigga. Like, my skin, like, I, oh my God, the breeze started to blow on me, and I just felt like God was touching me, right? Oh. Yes. Like, and the breeze blew, and then, like, if somebody would brush me, <laughs> I swear, yo, I swear, somebody would touch me. I would be like, oh my god, just touch me again. I would lean up. Me and my friend was leaning up on each other, legit. Yeah, and then we got back to the house. She had like this pillow, this furry pillow. Ooh. Oh, oh Jesus, what? Yeah, it's nice. And the breeze, I stood outside. The breeze blew on me, and it just felt like everything against my skin. That shit is different. I'm glad I didn't have the like the trip out and all yeah, that. That, yeah, cause homegirl. Oh, Ooh, they had a shower bad... made like, she had a little bad, I don't know. But you know how it is, like you your yeah. eyes roll and stuff, mm-hmm. and she be her shit be broke. And like you know I wear shades and stuff. Mm-hmm. So they're like, Oh, you I was like, hell no, these eyes is too big <laughs> to be playing them type of games with y'all. Like Wow. I know one time in high school my friend um was on what was his Yeah, Xanax? 
No, what do they call it? Zannies, whatever. Zanny. Yeah, Zannies. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. whatever. I, I don't. I don't partake. Oh yeah. That lady tried to drug me off of me. And <laughs> but she was like, she was rolling. Like it was hard. after school, she was rolling hard. and her parents mm. was gonna pick her up, and she was like, F-. and I was just like, um, sis, I don't think this is supposed to happen. I don't know if this is a good sign, but that ain't stop her because she kept on did it again went another day and i was just like oh this is this is what y'all do okay you no know, there are cool. no people that do it in, like regularly like I've, after i did that i never did it again that's not something me i'm give me my like give me my weed yeah give me my weed and like my that's it really my weed and my liquor and i'm straight with that i don't need nothing else yeah yeah i Sorry. you know I'm not that y'all too creative for me I, I enjoy <laughs> my little Ray and nephew. As far as, as far as it goes, it's like my little weed toys are cool. Yeah. Little different, like, little contraptions and shit, but me was, and, it's the weed. Me and my alcohol, you know, I've, yeah. I've never been, as curious as I am about things, I have never been curious about drugs. I feel like they did, they did a good job in the D.A.R.E. program for me because I have never been like, huh, I want to try that. Yeah. I wonder what that does. Like, I wonder, but I'm like, oh, well, you know, they I told me that. I would love to see you eat a piece of an edible. You, you oh, hear sounds and my you see. God. I just want her to eat what a piece is it? Of you hear edibles. colors and see sounds. Yeah. Um, I got control issues. I feel like that might be bad. Dog, I don't know. I would love to I see don't you know. I wonder if you'll be chill as fuck. Probably. Be, I think I'd no, probably fall asleep. Me and you together, though, no, it wouldn't be no good. Giggles. Be jokes for days. And Giggles. And then two of us the hell out. Yeah. After we eat down the place. I can see sleep happening like Yeah, I think you would be a chill high person. Probably. Or paranoid. If you was fair, I'd be like, if you don't shut the fuck up. Look, actually no. Be, I'd be like, nah, nigga. You Thinking about it, that. as like how inward I am for the most part, I probably would just be sitting there freaking out in my own head, like, what the fuck is going on? Is this okay? Like, am I supposed to be doing this? Wait a minute. Like you know, I remember one time someone tried to like slip me like a weed lollipop under the guise that it's a regular lollipop, and I looked and I was like, um, I don't do that to people. Like, no, I know there's people that like, oh, let's. I'd be like, nah, because you don't know why mm-hmm. they don't. Smoke. You don't know how they gonna react to it. Don't do that because no, yeah. Well, if you talking about you, I might have been yeah. going there because I was about no. to. No, my mom told me that my dad probably smoked weed like once ever, and he didn't like what it did, so he never smoked again. Oh, that did it for you. Yeah, like he used to smoke cigarettes, but like my mother weed. never smoked anything. My mother's wow. so pure. I can't She's her. adorable. She really is. I can't take her. She's like never like smoked. Like ugh, I can't with her. My father smoked cigarettes. I think he smoked weed. I think he might have smoked weed back in the day. He had a whole damn weed, which we call it in his yard. Anyway, as a police. Jamaican okay. police, police though, though so exactly they don't count and that could be for tea so mm-hmm. fact but um yeah he smoked cigarettes though but oh, when okay. i was when mommy was pregnant mm-hmm. or whatever and then i was going to be going he stopped cold turkey oh and she was like look nope so he stopped but and my dad smoked i felt cigarettes. very spe- i felt very special i was like you're welcome <laughs> saved your lungs yeah, and money because cigarettes only, to only be the one that smokes. I had to tell you. Here you know. Life. Yeah, my dad smoked cigarettes for a good amount of time. Finally quit. Craving it. Yes. Yeah, it's funny you said. It. I had that in my notes. I had a Cravening. whiff of Craving My um. Dog. My uncle used to smoke it. so we used to go out shop go get them. So. Same. Yeah. When I was all of like six. <laughs> Walk into the freaking store, Marvelly. Yes, like. We'll never forget that thing. And it's funny because as dramatic as I was about him smoking, like I used to be like coughing up fake lungs. Like I used to do the most, try to get him to quit smoking. He used to just send my ass upstairs, like go upstairs. If it's bothering you that bad, go upstairs. I was like, nigga, really? So fuck that. But he finally quit. But the other day somebody came in the store and I got, and when I say they smell like Cravenade, like I was like, Mm. dog when i say took me back i was like yo sensory like memory and stuff like that like that's always wild to me like you smell something and it just brings you back to a time or like brings up a memory or something and i was just like yo freaking craven a like do they even still make that like i don't i think craven a maybe still make it why not that's funny but still smoke 
True. <laughs> True. It's not like they ever stop. Yeah, you're right. Mm. You're right. So, cigarettes too expensive. Save your money. Yeah, I love... <laughs> Like, if you go to, like, Jersey, them shits is, like, $12 a pack, like, for one pack of 20 cigarettes. And some of y'all smoke two, three packs a day. I don't even know how to, I don't even, how do you smoke a pack of cigarettes a day? 20 cigarettes? That's y'all business. That's a lot of damn cigarettes. It is. You don't work. Or you work where you can smoke. Or yeah. you just always outside taking smoke breaks. <laughs> and I be saying that, but, like... I saw something where like some people smoke like how some people smoke um weed like they wake up smoke a cigarette like mm-hmm. on their way to where they're going smoke they're smoking a cigarette, smoking a cigarette. They work, they smoke while cigarette. they're at, waiting break. for breakfast they smoking a cigarette that's like, too much yeah so I you know get you a blunt and smoke that before you go to work that should clear you up for a good three four hours you for some nice people chill. cause I know some people who used to do the same routine I don't know if they still do but they on the way to work smoking weed get to get to work smoking weed go take a 15 minute break smoking weed take their lunch break smoking weed the next 15 mm-hmm. smoking again and i'm like i'm not here to judge or anything but you, you you're, be addictive. you're you're doing <laughs> this quite often there buddy but you know whatever um on another note for some people who don't know weed is still not like you know legal in jamaica so you hear us talking about like you know people smoking weed and everything like that like it's not and i say this to say that there's a smoke shop um epicon we were talking about that earlier Mm -hmm. um and idonia is an ambassador for them or something of the sort but i saw it like it's a while back It's, it's an old old post i saw but it's the only medical cannabis store in jamaica at the time Mm -hmm. and i i'm here for it first of all because i'm not opposed to the ingestion of marijuana like i am not you know opposed to cannabis or anything of the sort it's really the smoking thing that gets to me but whatever like if you want to make can of butter whatever the hell it is whatever the case is that's on you but a lot of people feel like jamaica you know weed is legal in jamaica and i'm like yeah they all think that um no because <laughs> up to like 2015 you know small amounts like of possession was reduced to like a petty offense but like mm-hmm. people think that you just walk around jamaica like all over just smoking weed yeah, I'm like, yeah. You know, you do, I smoke like no way not like that i definitely said yeah mom like wait, <laughs> i'm childish yeah oh <laughs> yeah mom like okay. Yeah, the, you know what you call it. Posted something. I don't know if you saw his story. Talking about some. How often do you say Yaman or whatever? And I was just like, I don't ever say that. Like nobody, Yaman. Nobody really says Yaman. But the like, amount of people who click that they do though, I was like, y'all can't be Jamaican. Yaman. If you say Yaman, yeah, but yeah, like the Y A H M O N. Like that's <laughs> no. I'm Ugh, I'm terrible. not here for that. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I don't even know which lane I want to go to next, but um, we, well, since we talked about the whole, we already started talking about sex, so we might as well jump right into that, though. Sex. Um, that. <laughs> Do you believe age affects your sex drive? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Cause, because. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> <He's funny. laughs> there has been a spike in mine and I, I don't know if you know getting older or maybe you know people you know whatever. Mm-hmm. but nigga i'm sick of myself <laughs> i know like that ass like mm-mm. i heard that women when we get older our sex drive increases. That's why there's the whole cougar thing because you know younger guys can keep up with the and, and not and the pumas the pumas pumas are in okay are in between the cougars okay the not so old old uh, the pumas, well know. look at me learning new things not me. yeah i had to uh, learn as well clearly. oh <laughs> okay but i also think about like things that affect like sex drive because i was talking to my friend the other day we we're talking about birth control and how like one of the side effects that it says on there is like vaginal dryness and like decreased sex drive and things like that and i personal information at one point like when i was on birth control i felt like i was experiencing these symptoms 
because of the birth control. Mm -hmm. However, later found out while still on said birth control that it wasn't necessarily the birth control. However, it was the person I was dealing with. Because, mm -hmm. like, the whole nine, like, everything was, like, checked off. Vaginal dryness, yep. Not getting wet. Um, decrease in sex drive, yep. Don't want to ever have sex with you. Like, whatever. And then, like, you know, ended up dealing with someone else. And it was, like, splash waterfalls all over again. And it was like, oh, so we work. Okay. Like that's that's cool waterfall, yeah so like <laughs> but i was talking to my friend and she was saying that you know she went through the same thing like i guess her and her partner were going through something and you know she wasn't really happy or secure in the sex that was transferring between the two of them so she <laughs> nice way to put it. yeah you know so she realized that it dried up she didn't have a desire for it like they yeah, would it be dried up. yeah it dried up she was not it interested in <laughs> so bad it just sounds terrible but yeah I got you. but like her words literally were like it went missing because he wasn't doing it for me and i was like ooh, but i get that though because if you're not into the person that you're sexually active with, your body is aware of that. Like, whether you mm -hmm. think about it or not, like, your body knows, hey, we're about to go exchange something with this person. And, mm -hmm. you know, or how it reacts, I'm, like, when that person exactly. comes around. Because you know how it is when you do, mm -hmm. when you are into someone. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're into someone. The tingles and yeah, things. Exactly. The fever and all that. They come mm -hmm. in the room, you like, ooh. Yeah, you start you start feeling away from that exactly. You know what I'm saying? So goosebumps your body, your and all body that. Definitely knows what's up. Exactly. So I just you know talking to someone else and realizing that okay maybe it's not just me being an asshole. My body just really was not in it. Right. I was like, damn, that's wild. So you know if y'all out here thinking something's wrong with y'all, maybe your body is just trying to tell you something. It's you know, y'all. But it's not necessarily a fact of you know situation isn't it y'all might need to work out some things because your sex drive isn't just going to be there for that person if y'all not you know in tune with each other and things like that too so if you want to sit here and talk about sex 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 make sure that there's other things falling in place and things are okay before you start questioning yourself as to why you're not getting hard or why you're not getting wet or whatever the case is you your mouth don't water for them no more whatever the case is <laughs> so no i'm just saying you don't get a little extra saliva <laughs> when they come in the room you know so just the thought but also don't forget things like that also they're the they, what's the proper word i'm looking for um cycles mm -hmm. um they do tell you that there's times, like, when you've been with someone that a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. that there's times where you guys will have, like, moments where... It's Rabbits. Not you know what I'm saying? What they call it? The les lesbian... lesbian oh, death, yeah. Yes. Um, where y'all won't be as active as y'all mm -hmm. were. And then there's going to be times where it kicks back in and kicks out. That's... that. Then again, that's up to y'all. You know I mean? That Certain too. people can't... Some people must be... Yeah. All the time. You have people who know, like, we're not going every day. Like, yeah. And there's some... And I can admit, I've been like that at one point or another in a relationship mm -hmm. where I'm like, I want to do it all the time. Right. What do you mean we can't do it all the time? Okay, so what? we're adults. We'll make time for this. What do you mean? But, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like you said, but. And such and things and such. Right. But, yeah. Um, and it's funny because a lot of women like i said like will doubt themselves and you see like online they'll call them pick me's or whatever the case or they'll be like oh you think that men want to hear this so you're saying this online and it's like no sometimes they actually feel this way they're not trying to be a pick me ass bitches y'all want to call them mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah, the pick me's is real ah uh, is it <laughs> like I'm, i think I'm, I'm, Huh. Uh, I'm we had just, an experience. I'm, I feel like we brushed on this briefly. I'm just talking about what I seen. Yeah, but like I feel like we brushed on that briefly the other day. But like like we talked about earlier, there's such double standard in like I don't know if you want to call it the law of attraction or how we pursue people or whatever the case is. But there's such double standard in what is acceptable for a woman to do versus what is acceptable for a man to do. Correct. So. 
like we spoke on this the other day um how we're at a party and this chick was basically just like i fucking this man like like i don't even want to say basically like she was i fucking this man she stripped him down naked and took him right there on the dance floor in fever in her mouth open like you like if she could have just rolled this man right there it would have happened she would have wrote him, but my thing was, I remember us standing there laughing like, damn girl, like, you know what I mm-hmm. mean? But then I thought about it like, if that same situation was in reverse, if he was the one watching her moving and dancing. The way she was watching thing, him. The way she was watching him, it would have been an issue. I thought about that, like, it would have really been a real problem because the way that girl was looking at boy, he was a piece of meat. Yes. Crazy, y'all. I was just like, damn, uh. A little uncomfortable, and, but you know, yeah. but it's also the way people handle it. She mm-hmm. probably wouldn't have handled it the same as him, as a man. Mm-hmm. He, as a man, and the type of man that he is, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, huh, you feel yeah, me? Of course, this is what I'm doing it for anyway. Yeah. I want you to see mm-hmm. me. Eh, Whereas um, people like me yeah. would have looked at you and been like, um, do you have a problem? Your parents ain't teach you it's rude to stare. I'm Aggie, like, so if I'm dancing, I might have, I might have kept dancing and maybe been like. Yeah, no, don't look at me for too long. Or <laughs> speak, ho. Say you hi. Stupid, wave. Yo. Something. Don't just stand there transfixed. Like, I'm rank. Don't don't just stand up and look by myself. Like, no. You hungry? You want something? Yeah. Like, Bye. you okay? You good? <laughs> like, I'm, no. Like, no. But, like, like you said, though, if there was a guy, and even us, too, though, like, if a guy was standing there staring her at, staring a woman down like that, we both would have probably been like, yo, is this, this man okay? Like, why are you, why are you looking at her like that? But another situation that happened that night that I, I ended up tweeting about, and I was thinking about it, like, the male ego is so fragile because... I think about why it is that men feel the need to assert their dominance around women, especially lesbians, especially masculine presenting women. Like, do you feel intimidated? Do you feel like... All my life I had to fight. (laughs) Away. All my life I had to fight. And, you know, I'm... Let's let's be honest. I am what five three, <laughs> okay. So I'm not threatening. I'm none of these things. I don't even have a threatening face. Like I don't be standing here talking to face. Usually you see me. I got a grin on my face. Yeah. And I'm smiling and stuff. So I don't even understand why they bring the energy to me because I just be like, okay, what? I'd be like a whole rainbow and sunshine over here. And I'd be like, why are you coming over here so harsh? Mm-hmm. Because I guess because I'm laughing and having a good time with the women's and all of this stuff. Boy. No. It's weird. It's very weird. Like nobody, then they feel like they have to come in and mm-hmm. put themselves in and edge up themselves. Like. And you bro, know, I'm not here for none of that. Yeah, and like you probably wouldn't have did that if I wasn't standing here. So you have to mm-hmm. come and show up yourself. I don't understand that. That's very strange. Yes. I don't know. Y'all niggas weird anyway. Yeah, and you you use the right words because the, the whole shit that was happening with um, what's his name, Kodak and Young Ma, like, first of all, you put her in a song talking shit, then you want to go on Instagram talking shit. Like, why don't people? Why don't straight people understand that being a lesbian does not mean you don't like penetration? You know what I'm saying? It just means correct. You don't want a man sexually or emotionally or romantically. Like, I don't know how it many seems times. It's very hard to figure out. Like, <sighs> and nobody understands why. Like, it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't. Like, and then that girl that made the post earlier about they don't understand. That, okay, if you don't understand, you don't understand. But. It's not for you to understand. Exactly. If it doesn't pertain to you, move the fuck on. Just don't be disrespectful. That's really all it comes down to. Just don't be disrespectful. If you don't understand it and your mind is too closed off for you to listen to someone explain it, because all it is is, I like penetration. I'm not attracted to men. Oh, big whoop. No. The dildo Pen- is shaped like a man. must be, to them, anyway, penetration must mean that you are attracted to men. And using a strap on a dildo or a toy or whatever must mean you're attracted to men. I mean, can I just ask a question? 
for the dumbasses. What exactly else is it going to be shaped like? <laughs> well, well, they have some that aren't necessarily shaped like penises. But you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. To enter mm-hmm. such a place, it has to be shaped a certain way. Yes. So what exactly is it going to be shaped like? A penis, no? Yeah. But it's not attached to a man. This exactly. I don't know. They're so. I don't. Strange. And then they do the whole like when they dress like a man and act like a man. Um, y'all know that a lot of these dykes be out here soft as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of them. And I be sitting here like y'all worried about the clothes, the clothes, and because they go to Anybody the barber and get a fresh ass tape and look better than you. Like, what is your problem? I'm not issue. My hairline. <laughs> it's my own issue you feel me like i i don't understand the obsession how? nobody is trying to be a but, man but and the ones that are trying to be men you probably don't even know because they're already gone through their processes and have, or going through the process yeah or have done things but so you that you don't even know like myself here i just want to hang out be no da- i'm chilling leave me alone just yeah like leave me y'all... alone don't come near me don't oh da, da. and Men, um, like, it's cool or whatever. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It depends on the day. When y'all feel like they y'all gotta be cool Ugh. with me kind of thing. And come and be like, hey, yo, like, what's up? You have all the... Back move. Don't come up with... I'm sorry. You got all the girls. You got, like, ew, move. Like, like... that's annoying, too. Sorry. Yeah, and I'll be quick to be like, sir, your panties are showing. Please pull down I'm your like, frock. You are moved. Like, stop it. Like, I don't feel, I don't think men realize that a woman living her life and expressing herself has nothing to do with excluding them or reducing their existence or threatening their masculinity or ego or anything like that. Like, I can't take it. Like, can you let women be individuals, like, separate from who you are as a person? Like, I don't understand why you feel like every woman on the existence of this earth, like, is supposed to be attracted to you or a member of your species or do something for the likeness of you. Like, bruh, like, can we live? You know what I'm saying? Like, can you just let women live? Like, okay, young M.A. is not interested in men. She said it. Not this here. She said it okay she's not okay but he's problematic as fuck because he's here dealing with a rape charge but god let's not talk about about that you're talking about what he's dealing with first of all did you hear that wild shit he said about um yes like and they try to like no my nigga i'm tiny too Oh God, no! Gonna like say, tips, um, wife? Yes, I'm gonna say when Ti died, nobody gonna want Ti. Um, um, um <laughs> tiny ugly ass. <laughs> Woo! Sorry. Wow. Definitely not something funny to laugh about, but he's just <laughs> he's just ridiculous at this point. He just says whatever. I think he's trying to stay relevant. I, that's really what, it's a cry for help. He's he's looking for attention because you you like you came out of prison or whatever and. You're bored. You don't have nothing better to do. Like, the lady is grieving. And you want to come talk about some? I give her a year. And then, like, ew, nigga. Nobody don't, like, ew. Ew. And even besides the fact that you look like ew. Like, that's disrespectful, one. And two, ew. Like, why? Why do you think that's appropriate to say? What? Like, if you're thinking it, that's you. I'm pretty sure some other creeps are out there thinking like, yo, probably about a year or so, you know, whatever. Like, that's on y'all. But don't be out here disrespectful to this man's existence and his family. Facts. Being like, just rapey. Like, that's not okay. That's yeah, not okay. It's, it's weird like, out you here. out here being like a creep to all these random women. Like, you just, you just down for whatever, I'm assuming. Because... Young M.A. looks like a grown-ass little boy. Like, you... A grown-ass little boy. Okay, I yeah, mean, she take off her clothes and she's a woman. I get that, but... I don't want to see M.A. take her clothes off. <laughs> but different. apparently Kodak does. So That's what does that different. say? And you're the lesbian, so... Exactly, and we ain't trying... And me and half, me and all the... You know. y'all, y'all sword fighting. <laughs> Strap fighting. But, like, they... Like, he's... Don't look at me like that. Doing what? <laughs> Strap fight. Because he's talking about like stupid, like, 
strap. That's just annoying. It's annoying. She got me fucked up with that. Just it's now. annoying. It's annoying. That's like me and like another like AG or something. Like, yeah. You know the whole playing, idea. Like, you strap. Yeah, because y'all not doing nothing with each other. You is a wild at all. That me. I will. <laughs> set a room on fire like don't even don't even play with me oh my gosh no i mean you know no shade to y'all that yeah into you that know. you know big up you know it's, it's all good it's all cool equal love and all that uh no but i did a poll like right there you go i like my woman in panties Acumi. yeah that part <laughs> but i did a poll um asking you know women what they prefer and of course men had to include themselves and respond the the penetration thing yes i just think it's funny that men girl exactly you heard what i said the thing says ladies which do you prefer a stimulation or penetration why is it that i had votes from men are you a woman? Do you want to be penetrated? Like, because that's what I'm about to take from this. But thankfully, they're bitches. Th- hmm. Thankfully, I got equal votes from men. So like, one was on one side, one was on the other side. So mm-hmm. they cancel out. But either way, we had a total of 53 votes for stimulation and 19 votes for penetration. Come on now, stimulation. So feel me. I think there's I might, that. I think I might have voted. I ain't feel me. Oh, you think so? I damn sure did vote. I did. I know. I y'all saw ain't it. Got no my business. <laughs> I saw it. Y'all ain't going to my business, but I definitely did vote. But that to did me just says vote? a lot. I believe so. I can check the stats and let you know in a second. But I, yeah, yeah. I was let me looking. know. Let me know. I get the behind the scenes <laughs> and see what she's talking about. It's like let me see. Let real me quick. see the cheat code. <laughs> but I. I saw that and I was like, so I'm not too far off with this stimulation of a penetration thing because a lot of women based on this are down for the stimulation. You know what I'm saying? Like they want the rubbing and the, you know, all of that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But some of these women that said stimulation are not lesbians are heterosexual cisgendered women. So, Y'all can sit here and be like, oh, you know, I'm looking, I'm looking, calm down. I'm scrolling while I'm talking. Oh, yep. Let me see. Let me see. First one. Of course she did. Of course she did. Yeah, I know that. (laughs) I know that for sure. But like I said, whether you're straight, lesbian, whatever, I've said this on a previous episode what you prefer sexually what gets you like doesn't have to do with your sexual identity or preference it's what feels good to you you know what i'm saying like y'all need to understand that like men should not feel any type of way because a woman prefers to have her vagina like fingered or eaten or rubbed on rather than being dicked down you know what i'm saying like Y'all need to understand that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with you. No matter how good you are in bed, if your woman only like or mostly prefers head or to be fingered or to be like have her clit rubbed on, whatever the case is, that has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. And that is nothing for you to feel inferior about or anything of the sort. Like that is like that's not it's not your place to be upset about this. You know what I'm saying? Like whether you got a big old penis or strap or whatever the case is, or you got a little penis or strap, it doesn't make a difference. If that's not what gets her off, that's just not what gets her oh, off specifically. Yeah. Like, but people think it, it, but people need to realize that everybody you F with is not going to like the same thing. Ex- that like, too. You're not, going, you're not going to eat her Exactly. And some women might not be down for, yeah. like it said, like the you're pole. Not gonna eat her, you're not going to eat her pussy the same way you eat her pussy. Like, exactly. That's, that's just not what it is. She not going to, like that certain position. It's not going to hit the same way. Exactly. Everybody different, but everybody try to use the, switch up your style, man. <laughs> y'all, yeah. Y'all so boring. Switch up your style. Yeah. Like, just don't take it personal if your partner tells you, hey, can you just rub on my clit instead? Like, just do it. You might enjoy it too. You might or, see some reactions that you've never seen before. Or if you're on the other end, maybe you can just guide yes, them in a or, way and not even say 
Yeah, you know just take a hand while something exactly. else is happening. Yeah, and just like, ease yeah, you don't it, really even have to say nothing. You could be like, you know, just yeah. grab their hand me or a, push yeah. their head. Down. Well, Give me a uh, hand. Well, you don't want to push because some people not with the pushing and the forcing things. Not everybody's into the rough and wild. Okay. I mean, well, <laughs> if they into a force, they head down and be like, you might just want to be like, <laughs> yeah, you might just have to be like, rough and be like, eat this pussy. Like, what's excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, or whatever y'all, yeah, or, you know, how y'all yeah. suck this dick, probably, uh, All of that, whatever. Oh, or, know. yeah, et cetera. If you want to guide or, you know, lead or send a text message. Like we were talking about the other day. You see something interesting? Send a picture. How you feel about this? Because... Y'all look on my story. I be posting all types of wild shit sometimes. I be posting anal toys and vibrating things and handcuffs and whips and chains. And you might be like, hey, have you seen Pointless Talk Story? <laughs> How you feel about this? You know what I'm saying? Like, just don't be afraid to actually express yourself in that way. Because at the end of the day, it is your orgasm. Either you're going to get it or you're not. Okay? All right. Bitch, I'm going to make sure I get it with or without you. <laughs> Shush. Fuck around if you want to. Shush, shush, shush. Because you don't want to listen. Shush, shush, shush. Your fucking feelings. Shush, shush, shush. Oh, okay. All right, then. So, there's that. Like, don't feel on type of way if your strap ain't doing it right for them, okay? That's not what they're into. I will cry, my man. But if that's not what they're into. <laughs> but see, I have been fortunate enough. Yes. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Born with the golden schlong. Uh huh. So, nah, I don't, I'm playing. I don't. <laughs> nah, what? I'm playing with the golden schlong. No, nah, so you feel me? I've never had that happen to me. I would be hurt. She's like, oh, that's not like, no. Your mm-hmm. pussy. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> I'm playing. No, oh, it's not. <laughs> I keep seeing them shaming people buying the small penises. The small strap? Yeah. Like, why are you doing that, though? <laughs> But why are you doing that? Maybe they can't manage a nine inch uh, dong nah, or whatever. What do you, you mean know? as the as the carrier? Or yeah, as the taker? they might not be able to you know maneuver that thing properly. Uh, like first of all, you you should be not getting a strap that's smaller. If it's for um, vaginal, mm-hmm. I would say that's smaller than six, seven. First of all, I mean if it's for anal pleasures, I would say yeah. six and whatever, whatever, because that's a different type of mm-hmm. completely different door. Mm-hmm. But for a strap, like, and these fans gonna look at you like you're crazy. Like, you trying to tickle me? Apparently, because Twitter is wild with these fans talking about what you, these what are you, just, listen, listen, I'm, my I'm, God, you, I don't know about these new age fans. Okay? <laughs> look here. They wicked. I'm so used to, so, they, they're not subtle. They, uh, they're they not know subtle. What they they're very, they're very, um, they're very hands on and outspoken and outspoken as hell. So a lot of them, I'd be like, wow, yeah. That's how y'all out feel? here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out here, like, damn. Okay. They're Women's... not taking no uh yeah, bullshit. No, I'm like old school, so you know, I you always gotta have some kind of decorum. Keep, keep something in the fuck going on. Something for the imagination. Yeah, this is what I. Yeah, me. I love that. Something for the imagination mm-hmm. of me all day. I can't. But you yeah. want a timeline? Tell the timeline that um, it's wet. It's. Wet. I'm ready. All of that. They be tripping. Yeah. We all indulge in little stupid stuff, but damn. Yeah. Like, Some no... of y'all, we know everything. Yeah, why do I know all Why? <laughs> why do I know that? Why do I know you have three dicks in your drawer right now, sir? <laughs> <laughs> and who's you kept and why you kept it and who's chopped up, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-mm. Anyways, something else at the timeline is going crazy about right now. I don't know if you saw. You know how we low-key... Um, I shouldn't say we. The community kind of is here for a little Uzi Vert. Well, we love him. Yeah, the timeline is in feelings right now. What happened? Because apparently he has a song called Don't. That's a Rack, where there's a line that says, um, all my bitches tens, no, I do not fuck no fans. I was checking my DMs, found out she was a man, oh, shit. and then, no, 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 I can't DM never again, no. Lucian on my vision, that's the only thing that's tran. So they 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 are in feelings. And I went to go check the lyrics online just to make sure. And sure. that is that is as I just read, that is what the lyrics say. You know, and 
I'm not here to tell anybody, you know, who you should be attracted to or whatever, whatever, but you had to put that in a song? They don't know what to say about sometimes. It's ridiculous. Found out she was a man. Is that, like, the popular thing right now? Like, you, all your friends are into trans women, and you wanted to make sure that they know that you're not into trans women? Or, or maybe it's just code word for I fuck with them, too. Yeah. Yeah, niggas, I don't put nothing past my huh. to be honest. Um, you know what I was gonna say? Hmm. Um, in gay news, what just passed? Miami Pride, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah, last uh, weekend. Oh yeah, that's what I was. I had it up here. I don't know what I did with it. Yeah, uh, that has been unreal. Again, what D Wade? What did I call? Him? What What'd you say? You know what I said? Dwayne Wade. That's what I said. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got me tripping. You said that's unreal. I said this shit is unreal. Like the comments of people, the. What's going on? What am what am he I missing? He went him and Gabrielle they mm-hmm, went to Pride mm-hmm, with mm-hmm. their son. Yes. Yes. These people have sidebar the, the nerve. I thought you were talking about because last night was his last game. <laughs> so I was like, what happened? But yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, they Oh man. I saw that and I got over it because people are dumb. I plan on having my children at Carnival and at Pride if I go to either one. People like people are trash. And I'm like, first of all, half of y'all don't even own y'all kids. The next half mm. of y'all kids don't live with y'all. The mm. state done took them. But here y'all are trying to police people and tell people how they supposed to. Y'all yeah, don't have no y'all involvement. Don't shut the fuck up and mind your damn business. Mind the business that pays you, Ooh. like for real, for real. Like, or that you pay. Care. That little boy is happy, fed, and supported, and good to go. Mind your business. Yep. Right now, your kid come to you and try to tell you. ABC, they can't even talk to you. Because you're going to shut them down and you ain't supporting them and you ain't giving them no love. Listen. Mind your damn business. I will never. And it's always black people. Why don't you uh, shut the fuck up? Always. And got the most problems. Shut hmm. your ass up. That they won't deal with. Dumbass. <laughs> it's I, a bunch of jackasses. Get yeah. on comments and talk shit all day long about other shit. Well, if it was my kid, well, it ain't. And you broke. Here you Period. are. Period. Here you are. On the comments. Talking shit. Please. Like, what Wait. What are you teaching your children? Yeah, them upstairs are going with some things, man. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, Tiffany. <laughs> That's her? No. Oh. Just remind me. I'm about to go knock on her door be like, good drink. Like, for real. Like, sis, what you got in here? That's good, Tiff. What you, you and your bar. <laughs> but, no, like, it's funny you say that because we've been to Pride before and have seen people there with their children. Yeah, yeah. And we're like, yes, bitch, come through with the babies. Like Pride, carnivals, all that. Listen, I need y'all to understand. Just like we were saying earlier about the you know penetration versus sexuality thing. You need to understand that showing your children mm-hmm. LGBT things and people and experiences will not make them gay. It's not going to make them gay. Okay, it's not. No matter what you think, seeing people kissing of the same gender on TV and movies and shows and in person is not going to make your child gay. If your child chooses to experiment with the same gender, that is natural. It is okay. Even people who have never seen this shit, um, 90% of the population that is LGBT that has never seen the shit on TV, that experimented with it at an early age... It's going to happen. It's natural. People get curious. Things happen. That's part of growing up. No. But don't blame that on the society and people bringing their children to pride or putting gay stuff into cartoons. Into, like, shut up. Y'all sound like, dumb as fuck. Like, is, people gay people are, saw straight people all their lives and they're still fucking gay. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. My thing is, like, there was no... <laughs> movies, yeah, you could find mm-hmm. it in some movies, but the shows and stuff I was watching, you went far in between. Yeah, there were no, no, no gay men, no lesbians, nothing like that. Nothing, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I've been, let me see, aware. I say, I've been, yeah, like aware, whatever, since I was like eight, nine years old, mm-hmm. and it, there was nothing, no damn TV show. I didn't even have really any adults around me mm-hmm. that were gay or lesbian or whatever y'all gotta go ahead with all that shit bro. and the difference with that girl. like i said before is it makes them more comfortable to accept themselves that is the only difference because they're seeing it it's mm-hmm. visibility and they're aware that they're not the only person in the world that's attracted to the same gender people just can't take that shit yeah like people can't take it 
child just let people live their lives if it don't got nothing to listen if you're not in a tax bracket mind your fucking business that's that shit that be killing me the tax bracket shit you're (laughs) not like the fuck you can't afford to think about D Wade's f- and Gabriel Union. You are, exist, and you talking shit. You got so much to say. That's why I be looking at people on social media arguing with these people and these celebrities and stuff, and I just be sitting here like, Listen, "Can you fucking imagine? I'm arguing with somebody. Y'all still live like with y'all this. parents in the oh, basement well, in your in your bedroom that you've been living well, in since she was God knows how many years, well, right? Don't have nothing to your name." And y'all are wanting to comment on rich people problems, like rich people lives, not even problems, rich people lives, they everyday life, they out having a good positive life and y'all got shit to talk about it. Let people live their fucking life, like period, like that's really all it comes down to. But, um, speaking of LGBT things in Florida, I saw a post today, um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Very GTV or Thou Art Woman. It's a poetry thing that they do where women come out, they do poetry, LGBT friendly, all of that. Um, I went to one of them last year, that's where I met Diana King, but, um, (laughs) but they're having another Thou Art Woman, well actually no, one just passed, but they're having a, um... Uh, thing at the Vanguard. Let me read the post. It just says, are you an LGBTQ woman with a coming out story to tell? We want you. Together we are writing, producing, and performing our tales of sorrow and triumph in front of an audience for four nights in June at a fabulous Vanguard Theater in Fort Lauderdale. Join us Saturday for the first workshop as we commensurate the collaboration, enjoy breakfast and lunch together, and flex our artistic muscles to create something monumental. Know the closet is a dark place for so many. So is this why you were asking me if I wanted to come out? Yes. In front of people? <laughs> yes. On a microphone? Yes. Standing up? Or sitting. Let your story inspire others Yo, to I'm embrace shy. I'm shy, y'all. their real selves <laughs> and step into the light with joy and pride. Join us in changing every wo- what? Even just one woman's life, perhaps your own. Rainbow, rainbow. For more info at Thou Art Woman, T-H-O-U-A-R-T, woman, um, to register for the workshop. Um, I'm coming workshop brownpaperbacks.com. Yeah, so it's what for what kind of women? LGBTQ. So anywhere you identify on the spectrum. Yep. Coming out. In general. Yep. As a woman. Mm-hmm. So mm. LGBTQ. Yep. So So it can be a trans woman. Yep. The T is in there. Very cool. So if you are in the South Florida area, you're interested, contact Thou Art Woman and I'm not a woman all the time though, so what about her? Q. I just wanna make sure. <laughs> I just wanna make everybody know, like everybody included. Yep. Everybody's involved, included in... And that's important too. Yes. Because you know, nobody likes to feel excluded. Like exactly. For those who feel like a girl sometimes and not a girl sometimes like myself then you know (laughs) yeah you know some days you just don't want to deal with the boobs and things you know they don't they don't be there i don't see them (laughs) yeah some people don't understand that did you see that some people really don't understand yeah they look at me and they be like what i was like i don't honestly i say it like on here and there's like Mm -hmm. people who understand but there's people i just really don't because they would probably Mm -hmm. be like cat what are you even talking about you would never understand it. If you don't so, get it, just leave it I would, but I would rather not even have this situation with you. Like, this whole conversation. Like, some... Whoa. <laughs> no, like, some days, there is no... Yeah. It's not there. And you can't tell me that damn thing. Is this plantain? Yes. With blueberries? Mm-hmm. And raspberries? Mm-hmm. Them blueberries and raspberries look good as fuck. But not with the plantain. Yes. They rude and stink as fuck. What the hell is this? <laughs> I saw it on Twitter. They said, Why? what country I don't did put, I don't know what dog. Are they sweet? Are they supposed to be sweet? Is this for breakfast? Is my doodles. What do you ask What's me some, for? Really some sweet plantain, my doodle. Hold this, please. First of all, <laughs> I... I hate this girl. I, I... Why is know? there... Planted with so, blueberry. Try it and make that and see what happened. And see if you it wanna, tastes good. You want to know what I think happened here? It might taste good. I think this is a buffet table. Right. And somebody walked by with their fruits and it fell in a planting. <laughs> because this don't make no blood clot sense to me. All you mix up planting 
and raspberry and blueberry. Who is eating that? First of all, that's a large fruit cup they have. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. Yeah, that's a nice little... No. They want no. to What kind of drop seat would that be for it to it reach dropped, in the whole thing? It spilled. Thing? Girl, you know, no. That's why in Girl, it. no. Because even in the cut, blueberries is in the cut. I refuse. Nah, so maybe it's like a... No. That's not I feel like the plantains are sweet. Yeah, but still, no. Like, they put something on it, too, to make it sweet. Like, like a, sugar or like a some glaze? glaze. Like a glaze. And they're trying to use it like you can cut like the plantain and then you pick up a little like raspberry, pick up a little blueberry thing and then Hey, I don't know. Can I fire everybody? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Listen, I will drink water. I'm good. I'm sick. <laughs> like I will I will drink water and be quite fine. But <laughs> yeah, that's you know, the internet is a fun place. Um But I really have nothing else for Gopana. You have nothing else you want to talk about? how fine i am so oh child i just don't know come y'all in goody me. come in <laughs> yes it's a joke y'all don't yeah i'm not like that anyway listen i want y'all to know my friend been feeling herself okay <laughs> rightfully so she's ridiculous i really i just be chilling y'all I don't and i'm here that. for all of it i just be what's wrong with her like i just be chilling don't not nah here for it I just be- hey, <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all now. Don't slide in my messages about no. Oh, damn, sugar look good now. First of all, uh-huh, my get, friend. Hold on. Get. First of call all, him call him out. First of all, my friend didn't just start looking good. She lost a little bit of weight, Not but that don't mean she just started looking Not good. Okay. Don't it. come slide in my messages. I definitely look like a nice puffball <laughs> last year. Okay, so I last. A nice amount of weed. I was looking at pictures from my show. I was like, bitch, I was swollen. What the fuck? Why y'all ain't pop me? Yo. Oh, God. (laughs) Don't do it. Because some of y'all I might be polite to. Some of y'all I might just not respond to. Don't do it. Don't come on Pointless Talks Instagram. I know I said slide in the messages and hit me up and all of that. But don't come message me with um, backwards compliments about how my friend look good now. Okay? Fuck off. Okay? Honestly, Thanks. Honestly. No. And then if I did that message me about her before, so don't start, no. And shop lock. Hey, hey, hey. Anyways, uh, hey. the shop is locked. Yes. So. And we're not friendly. None are we. So, no. Talking no. I look good now. No. It's on a rank. <laughs> Fucking rank. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, message big man more yeah. next month. Hey, yeah, no. Like, what? No, mm-hmm. she dropped her at at the end of this the episode. Don't come in pointless talk about that like, shit. All right, hold on, bro. I'll drop it right now for you. All right, it is definitely. <laughs> you yeah, you're yelling at me with the phone every week. <laughs> Yo, I'm trash. Y'all oh already know gosh. it's them sugar underscore on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody coming with me to no beef though. I ain't with nothing. Yeah. I punch you in your face. We're not with the bullshit. What's this? <laughs> and then <laughs> Twitter. <laughs> Twitter is Lion Young V. So same shit. Don't even come at me with nothing. Follow. We take funny shit sometimes. Yeah, you cute. know. We be tweeting and posting and stuff. And don't come at Interact. me with no backwards ass com like compliments. Yeah, I was Please. like, well, I guess my friend is cute now. <laughs> Rank much? Yeah, try some of my friends. She never looked good from before. That's how I feel about all my compliments. Thing is they like wasn't that. looking good now or or before, so it don't make well, a difference to me. Well, well, etc. So, um, I have a brief. Oh, you thought you? Oh, okay. What? I thought you was you. It was like you was wrapping up, and now you talking about you found something. So what's good? No, no, no. Cause I was cause we haven't done a poem in a really long time. So I damn. Was, now we're about you, you know. So there is one I, I happened across from Naplanta, which I've spoken about before. Um, by Rajorshi Das. Okay. Rajo I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm so sorry for whoever I'm about this to find is. Something and read it. You play. it is R A J O R S H I and the last name is D A S. It is titled My Father's Boyfriend. Hold Written by a boy or a girl? I don't know. 
can't tell by the name, but it's from the Queer Colored People um, Book of Poetry. So it's called My Father's Boyfriend, and it goes like this. They enter the bedroom and close the door, locked away from the world for hours. Father sulks as his man goes home. He barely talks to us. Most nights... Oh, he barely talks to us most nights. Father shouts at Ma. Oh, shit. Let me start this over because that shit got spicy quick. (laughs) (laughs) My father's boyfriend. They enter the the bedroom and close the door, locked away from the world for hours. Father sucks as his man goes home. He barely talks to us most nights. Father shouts at Ma. She knows, doesn't she? Father loves him more than us, and I can see why. His boyfriend has big muscles and perky nipples. Should I tell Ma what I have seen? Should Mm I? Child, I'm sure your mama done seen it too, Mm because if you young and you peeping, but then again, she might be caught up in her own shit, so you never know. But yes, that was My Father's Boyfriend by Rajorshi Das. So, yeah. Raj, Rajorsh, Rajorshi, okay. I, you know, I'm horrible with these things. So, um, you find something or you not look for you no more? Can't yeah. find it in the papa. Can't find it. Can't find it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, like we said earlier, Dutch Olympics June 29th. Backyard fish fry. Yo, we gonna be in Dutch Olympics, right? Ed top. I'm gonna bring out some old moves. Wine in segment. Yeah, I might have to waistline. Bring out. Old Dagamas, that is. Oh, so yeah. you're, um, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. So no. yeah. <laughs> no, you no. Yeah, um, yeah, try winning competition, the money, a grand prize. Am it? I trying to win? Yeah. You know what's fun? I'm really not trying to win. Mm-hmm. However, mm-hmm. yeah, let's see what If I clean it up, I clean it up. All right, then. Don't let me have to go put my head top. It's a joke. Whoa. We don't do them things. <laughs> Why <laughs> Um, backyard fish fry four twenty twenty edition. Yo, yo. Saturday. So yeah, every two weeks we'll try to keep the thing. So the next one is four twenty. Thank you to all of you who came out. So wait, that's. So which weekend? I Easter weekend. Four twenty. Yo. Easter Sunday is and the twenty first. Yeah. With the. If, yeah. Y'all, I, I'm gonna just come camp out. Yeah, I'm, okay. Gotta come come camp. That's not like a camp out. That's not like a go to sleep vibe <laughs> type of joint. Like somebody set up a little cot. <laughs> <laughs> now bring this song. That's all. Yeah, for us, man. Look at you. <laughs> put this shit right there in the middle on the grass. Play with me. I'll be laid oh. out there. Don't play with me. That's a vibe. Look Ooh, at you. Look at but you. But like a bonfire. Yeah. But that's just me being me. Let me let me. St- and I'm here thinking about. You know what's funny? Since I came to Florida, you were supposed to take me to go do a bonfire thing. You know? We had a little backyard. We had, to something. Burn, we had some things to burn up. We we burn up some something new. When I burn up the oh when we burn up the wig. Mm-hmm. I ain't talking about that. Man. You want like a real life? That girl bonfire. wig was so fucking ugly though. She had the fucking nerve. Oh, that shit had to get burned. Up. Well, Sorry. Anyway, that shit. We've done some things. Anyway, wow. <laughs> That's just no people. Let on all them so so. You know what I should have did? I should have snatched all them joints. Mm. All them joints. <laughs> yeah. I'm being petty. Yo. Yeah, don't pay me no money. <laughs> um. Yeah, your fan fest is what July twenty. So we got we got a lot of things coming up. Fly for your nation and all those all things. These things. Um, go on Fly Fair Nation Instagram, flyfairnation.net um, to check out everything that we have coming up, all the podcasts, video services, etc. And you know, all the fun things. You can follow me on all the social media things. If you have any poems or questions or stories or whatever you want to submit, it is askpointless at gmail.com. Y'all can slide in the DMs with that. Um, <laughs> It's ask pointless. Like everything is pointless with three S's. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Spotify, iHeart, YouTube, SoundCloud, TuneIn Radio, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Music. We're on all of those platforms. If you like us, rate us and give us all the five stars. Um, keeping the bad mind feelings them to and self. And just like every other week, whether you got here on purpose or by fate. 
Thank you again for listening to the Pointless Talks podcast. Peace.